Sketchbook makes it easy to turn anything into a stamp brush. A stamp brush helps you create repetitive parts of your art, like leaves on a tree, so that you don't have to draw each one individually. Let's do that now with this pine needle. First, I'll turn off the background layer so that I can save it as a transparent PNG. That's important. Make sure the background is transparent. Once that's done, select a brush that you really like, duplicate it, and open the options. Make sure it's a standard brush. Select the Advanced tab and scroll all the way down to the Nib section. You'll see a toggle there that says Shape. Turn that on if it's not and import your image. Let's try it out. Our brush doesn't look like much yet. We'll have to adjust some of the settings. The first setting I'm going to adjust is the spacing. This will separate the spacing of the stamp so that we can actually see our pine needle. Then I'm going to make it a lot bigger by adjusting the pressure setting. Now let's see what we've got. It looks pretty good, but I've never seen a purple pine tree. What if you wanted your brush to be all the colors of your stamp? You can do that too. Scroll all the way back down to the nib section and toggle with color. Now you can see your beautiful stamp in perfect color. Let's do one more tweak. You can rotate your stamp slightly and then turn on rotate to stroke. This means that as I turn my brush, the pine needle follows. It's so cool. You can try this out with so many different types of stamps, like chains or braids or bubbles. Your options are endless. If you want more details about brush properties in Sketchbook, go to sketchbook.com backslash brushes to learn more.